Hello students, welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nandkyolir and in this session we are going to talk about a recent update that is related to the Sanchar Sathi mobile application. We will see what the update is and what is the controversy around it. So the government of India has mandated that all the new mobile phones, all the new mobile phones that are being A, manufactured in India or even if they are being imported to India, they will have to be pre-installed with an application and the application is the Sanchar Sathi mobile application. So these mobile manufacturers will have to ensure that all the new mobile phones that are being manufactured in India or even being imported to India are pre-installed with the Sanchar Sathi mobile application. And what about the phones that are already in circulation? So for that also these manufacturers, they will have to push a software update. And this software update is going to install this application onto everybody's phones. So the government basically wants to ensure that the Sanchar Sathi mobile application is available on every phone in India. And all this has an implementation timeline also. So the mobile manufacturers will have to complete the implementation within 90 days. And then a report also has to be submitted within 120 days. So all the mobile phones in India are going to be pre-installed with the Sanchar Sathi mobile application. Now there are some concerns around this. But before we dive into the concerns, let us first understand what is the Sanchar Sathi initiative to understand government's vision behind making this decision. So let's talk about the Sanchar Sathi initiative. So this is an initiative of the Department of Telecommunications. And under this we have a portal and an application. Sanchar Sathi web portal and Sanchar Sathi mobile application. The portal came into being in 2023. And the application that we are talking about here, this came into effect in January 2025, this year itself. Now, what is the Sanchar Sathi initiative? So, this basically is a citizen-centric initiative that aims at ensuring the digital safety, digital safety of its citizens. How? So, by making use of the Sanchar Sathi portal or the Sanchar Sathi mobile application, you can actually block, block or report your lost or stolen mobile phones. If you lose your mobile phone, if it is stolen, you can trace it, you can report it, you can block it, you can do all these things by making use of the Sanchar Sathi portal or Sanchar Sathi application. Then there is something else that you can do. So every user can basically check how many SIM cards or how many numbers are registered under his or her name. Because many a times what happens, there is one person and he is not aware that there are multiple SIM cards that have been allocated or registered to his name and this application is basically going to allow every user to check how many numbers, how many SIM cards have been registered under his or her name and then if you find something fraudulent, you can report it. And then you can also report, report any fraud or spam calls or messages. So the purpose here is to help the citizens, help the citizens ensure their digital safety by making use of this application or by making use of this portal. Then what is the problem? If the government wants that this should be pre-installed, what is the problem? The problem is that there is a privacy concern. The application is not the problem. The intention of the application is not the problem. But you know that whenever you install an application, there are a lot of permissions that you have to give in order to, in order for that application to work. There are a lot of permissions that you have to grant. Permission of your camera, permission of your location, permission of your gallery, permission of your contacts and a lot of things. 
So the permissions are a problem over here. When you have this pre-installed into your system, then you will have to give them a lot of permission so as to use that application, to make use of that application. And these permissions can lead to a breach in the privacy also. Many experts, they believe that right now the government might just be testing the waters. This can also be a surveillance tool in the near future. And all the problem, basically this controversy arose because the government did not make it clear that the users, whether the users can delete this application or not. This was not made clear by the government, but in a very recent development, the government has made it clear that the users can delete the application from their mobile phone. Yes, it is going to be pre-installed, but if you do not want to use it, do not register. You can delete it from your mobile phones. So this is going to calm the situation down a little. But then definitely there is a privacy concern that in the near future, maybe all this data that is being collected, if it gets into the hands of any third party, that is a national threat, a national security threat, then the data is going to be uh, that data is going to be misused for a lot of things. So there is a major privacy concern. And then there are a lot of, there's basically there are some manufacturers that do not allow the pre-installation of these third party devices or third party applications. Like you have Apple. Apple does not allow the pre-installation of any third party application even if it has been released by the government. So then there could be some legal concerns that come around it. These uh, companies, they might file some lawsuits. We are not sure as to what is going to happen because right now an implementation timeline of 90 days has been given. But we'll have to see what is happening because this is again a developing story. Every time recent updates are coming in, the government wants to mandate a pre-installation over here. But there are some manufacturers, manufacturers like Apple, which do not allow the pre-installation of any third party application. So there's going to be a legal tussle. And then in the near future, what kind of a privacy breach can come in? Is it only going to ensure the digital safety of people or there can also be a privacy breach? That is also something that we need to be careful of because of a lot of permissions that we are giving to this application. So that is all for this analysis. This is the recent update that has come in. We'll have to watch closely so as to see what keeps happening here. But for now, let us look at a practice question for prelims. With reference to the Sanchar Sathi initiative, consider the following statements. One, it allows mobile users to check all SIM connections issued in their name and report any unauthorized numbers. Two, it provides a facility to uh, block and trace lost or stolen mobile phones using IMEI. Three, the Sanchar Sathi mobile application was launched in 2023 along with the portal. Four, it enables users to report suspected fraudulent calls and messages directly. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? Please note down the options. A, 1 and 2 only. B, 2 and 3 only. C, 2, 3 and 4 only. Or D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1 and 2 only, 2 and 3 only, 2, 3 and 4 only, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Please provide your answers in the comment section and we will meet in a new video. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.